luscious, imperial, stout. Shop to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands Box and Bows Reviews. At various times when I'm reviewing beers on this channel, I say I've got a special one tonight, and um, generally it's something you know out of the ordinary, or um, it comes from a brewery with some you know good pedigree and good history and whatnot. Um, but when I say I've got a special one tonight, I genuinely do mean that I have got a special one tonight. This is from the Alchemy Brewery, which is based up in a place called Stowe in Vermont, which is um, high up on the eastern seaboard of the United States in uh, Vermont, in the New England area. Um, they've got a really good history, almost disastrous history. Uh, the, the, the brewery flooded in, I think it was 2011, I think, or recently anyway, I mean, relatively recently. And uh, they, only, they only managed to save two beers, and this was one of them. And that kept them going, and they went on from strength to strength. And they also brew um, the famous Heady Topper double IPA. Now, if you've not heard of that beer, I mean, that really is something special. Ultra hard to get hold of in the US. Even harder to get hold of here. And this stuff is hard to get hold of over here as well. The reason being, you cannot buy that online. Um, you, you have to go to the brewery to get it. Um, you can buy it online in the United States, but um, they, only, they only sell to the continental US. That's the law in the United States. Very, very complicated laws um, with beers and whatnot in the United States. If you want to look further into that, I, I recommend the film Beer Wars. That's a great film. It shows you some of the, the underhand dealings of uh, the big corporations in the United States. Anyway, I'm going right off on a tangent there. Um, let's come back to this. Uh, yeah, as I say, they're... They're a pretty unique brewery. They're a brew pub. They have their own, you know, eatery and actual pub where this is brewed as well, which is quite common in in the states. And uh, as I say, the Heady Topper is one of their most famous beers. Ultra hard to get hold of. This is as well. And before I go any further, I have to thank um, a fellow called Matt Kelly, who got this for me. Um, if, you've, if the name sounds familiar, well, he's the drummer from the Dropkick Murphys, and uh, he brought this over for me, and he brought over a can of Heady Topper for my mate Julian, who's probably going to polish that off tonight. The lucky bastard. He doesn't deserve it. <laughs> but, anyway, I think I've got the better one here. I've been reading up about this um, long before I ever got my hands on it, and the beers that they brew in the Alchemy Brewery, and if I ever get over there, that, or ever get, get to Vermont, that is the first place I'm going to go because I want to try all their beers in one day. Let's talk a bit, little, little bit more about this. I've spoken enough about the brewery. I suggest you read up on the Alchemy Brewery and what they do and you know the reputation that their beers have got. That Heady Topper, as I say, is rated at the, at the fourth best beer in the world, which is no mean feat. So anyway, let's concentrate on this one now. This is called Luscious. It's a British-style imperial stout. It's 9.2% and that is a one-pint can. Now, what is an imperial stout? I'll quickly go over it. Imperial Stout or Imperial Russian Stout uh, was, first, was first brewed in Britain and it characteristically, characteristically contained a lot of hops and very high alcohol content. Uh, pretty similar to an IPA, uh, but it's obviously a stout and it was brewed for export to Russia for Catherine the Great because you know the, the royal families were related so they would send stout over there. So when you see an imperial stout now, or an imperial Russian stout, which is quite popular in the United States, that's usually a very, very dark beer, very malt heavy, and very, very high in alcohol content. This is 9.2, so this does fit the bill for an imperial stout. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up about this and I'm just gonna get this open and drunk and reviewed. Now I've had, I've had this in the fridge, this is um, chilled. It's supposed to be drunk at 16 degrees, I think they've said, but this is quite chilled. So, what are we getting on the nose when we open that? 
Right, very dark chocolate malt, smoky almost. Bitterness, it's like coffee. Bitterness, coming again, coming from the roasted malt. A little touch of dark fruit. And that's about it, the, the coffee and the chocolate is really coming through on that. I wanna get this into the glass now. Wow, look at that. That is like crude oil. That is amazing looking. Not much of a head on it, which I'd expect. Well, there's a, like a half finger, really dark head on that. Um, this looks amazing. I cannot see anything through that. That is dark, no color, pure black. What are we getting on the nose? Oh my good God. I'm getting strong chocolate and coffee and some slight fruity notes on that but it's mainly dark chocolate and coffee. I just want to get this drunk now so cheers and cheers Matt for bringing this over for me. Really appreciate that mate. Wow, it's making my ears tingle. <laughs> Never has a beer done that before. Oh. The aftertaste on it is something else. Right, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to dive in again because there is so much going on there. There is intense chocolate and coffee on that. And there's a fruity sort of element going through that as well. It's almost, how can I put it? Um, like a dark fruit, dark um, raisin or cherry type. Raisin or cherry type dark fruit on that. But the thing, Excuse me. The thing that really stands out on this is the mouthfeel. It is so smooth. There's a bit of the, and I'm getting it now as well, there's a bit of the alcohol warming as it goes down. And I could feel it in the ears as well. A beer has never done that to me before, so that is definitely a first. But let's, let's take another sip. That is amazing. I read all the hype about the stuff from the Alchemy Brewery and I thought, well, you know, an Imperial Stout is, you know, it's usually bitter, intense chocolate, but I didn't realize it was gonna be as smooth as that. And as soon as it came out of the can, I could see that this was gonna be an interesting one and it's more than interesting, it has absolutely blown me away. This really is a special beer. I've never tasted a stout as smooth and as in flavor intense as this. It's amazing. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful and Matt, I think you've uh, you've really come up trumps there. I was a bit annoyed. Well, I wasn't annoyed. I was a bit jealous that um, Julian got the he heady topper. But I think I think this is the better one. I mean, I've not tasted the heady topper. I'd love to, but as a beer goes, this. I mean, and they're two different styles as well, obviously. But this is going to take some beating. I don't think I'll ever come across a stout. Well, if I do, it'll have to be really have to be something special. This is just blowing me away at the moment it really is this is amazing stuff i know i keep going on about it but and i i really you know don't buy into the hype of beers and breweries and stuff like that but i know and i'm saying you know how good it is 
it's so hard to get hold of. Um, you know, especially in the United Kingdom and Europe. You know, you, if you if you can get someone who can get some over for you, then I would definitely advise it. Or any of the alchemy beers. I mean, they've all got good reputations. They don't they don't brew bad beers, from what I've been reading. All the you know this gets you know five stars on a lot of the um, the review sites, and rightly so. I mean, now I've tasted. it. To be honest, I don't I don't go much on them review sites because I've reviewed beers on this channel, and um, what what these other people? I mean, no, I know everybody's taste is different, but what other people get, and what I get, are completely different. Sometimes, you know, there's some of that tramp juice I've been reviewing, and people have been raving about it, and I just think, you must have taste in your ass. But anyway, let's get back to this beer. So, would I recommend this? Well, does a pope wear a funny hat and does a bear shit in the woods? Of course, I'd recommend it. This is probably the best imperial stout I've ever tasted. Sam Smith's do one, and I've had it on draft. And I don't think it compares to this. I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong. Sam Smith's do some good beer, but this is in a league of its own. And I hope if anybody tries this, it will just, it will put to bed that, that myth that, you know, it goes around in the United Kingdom that the Americans cannot brew beer. They are doing stuff that is blowing me away. So yeah, let me just read out what's on the back of the can. This is gonna be a quite a, a longer review than normal because I, you know, this is a really special beer, so I'm gonna I'm gonna dedicate a fair bit of time to it. Um, Luscious is our award-winning British-style imperial stout. Um, it certainly lives up to its name. Yeah, well, of course it does. It is Luscious. Um, to hear what John has to say about the uh, this beer with our YouTube channel. Oh yeah, you can. You can you can watch the review on this on YouTube. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm gonna watch it after this. Um, yeah, and it's just got a bit about the um, the Alchemy Brewery it, it, or the Alchemist. I keep calling it the Alchemy. It's the Alchemist. Sorry, I do apologise. Um, it's, it's yeah, it's just basic like basis. Just though in Vermont, it is um, solar powered brewery. Wow, amazing. 100% um, family owned. Just brilliant. I mean, a proper craft brewery. You've got the government health warning on there. It's like, oh, fuck off. Tell me how much to drink. I'll tell you something. They're not gonna, certainly not going to tell me how much of this stuff I can drink because this is quite dangerous because I'm sort of near the bottom and I'm thinking I could quite easily do another. And do you know what? I've reviewed 8.5% beer. You know, alcohol has got nothing to do with the taste of a beer. You know, you can have... I've tasted 6% beers which taste absolute shite. And this is, you know, alcohol... You've got to use it sparingly because if you put too much in, you can make it taste terrible. This, 9.2%, and yeah, you do get a little bit of spirit alcohol warming as, it, as it's going down. But the malts on this, the flavours, you know, you, you, you don't even think about the alcohol content. It's so flavour intense. And it's just brilliant. And, you know, I live for beers like this. This is, you know, the pinnacle. You know, they've in America they've got the alchemy. Over here we've got breweries like Cloudwater, um, Brewdog to an extent, but you know, Cloudwater I think are up, up there. I've been trying a few of their beers lately. I need to get some more of that to review the Cloudwater stuff. But this stuff, I mean, you know, take a bow, America. It's probably one of your best breweries. Oh the intensity of the malt in this has to be tasted to be believed. So, I'm saving a little bit because I told I told my missus that um, you know I've got this beer, how good it is. She's probably going to drink it and say, oh, it tastes like shit, or it's bitter. But anyway, let's buy the buy. What would I give it out of 10? Well, it can only be 10. If I could give it 11, I would give it 11, but it's 10 out of 10. Is it recommended? Of course it's recommended, but me recommending it and you getting hold of it are two completely different things. Now, if you've got a mate in America that's coming over and they can get you some of this, get some. The thing is, their beers are all limited to how much you can buy. So for example, on their website, it's got 
how many four packs, and I think that is limited to six four packs per person. So you know you can't buy, you know you can't just rock up and buy twenty four to a crate of, of that or the, the heady topper stuff. I think is even is even less. I think that's limited to four 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 packs. But if you can get someone that can get you a can, you've just got to try it. And I don't think, and I want to be proved wrong, but I don't think I will, that you'll ever taste an Imperial Stout better than that. And as I say, I was jealous of my mate Julian getting the um, getting the Heady Topper, but I think the Heady Topper can wait because this is fucking amazing. That's the only words I can come up with. Brilliant stuff. Cheers, Matt. And remember, beer is working class champagne.